write each expression as a single trigonometric ratio. In part A, express sine pi over 6 cos pi over 2 plus cos pi over 6 sine pi over 2 as a single trigonometric ratio. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the sum formula for sine. Inspecting the original expression, we can see that a equals pi over 6 and b equals pi over 2. Plug the angles into the left side. Also, rewrite the original expression on the right side. Get a common denominator. Add the fractions. The left side is sine of 2 pi over 3. This is a single trigonometric ratio we were asked to find. As a final thought, both the left side and right side have the same value. In part b, express tan pi over 4 minus tan pi over 6 over 1 plus tan pi over 4 tan pi over 6 as a single trigonometric ratio. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the difference formula for tangent. Inspecting the original expression, we can see that a equals pi over 4 and b equals pi over 6. Plug the angles into the left side. Also, rewrite the original expression on the right side. Get a common denominator. The left side is tan pi over 12. This is a single trigonometric ratio we were asked to find. Tan pi over 12 is not on the unit circle, but if we use a calculator, we can see that the left side equals the right side. In part c, express cos pi over 3 cos pi over 6 plus sine pi over 3 sine pi over 6 as a single trigonometric ratio. Bring up the sum and difference identities. Use the difference formula for cosine. Inspecting the original expression, we can see that a equals pi over 3 and b equals pi over 6. Plug the angles into the left side. Also, rewrite the original expression on the right side. Get a common denominator on the left side. The left side is cos pi over 6. This is the single trigonometric ratio we were asked to find. As a final thought, both the left side and right side have the same value.